Okay. Good morning, church. My name is Tracy Harding. I, um, I'm the wife of Ron Harding. Yes, you are. Uh, <laughs> yes. uh, this is part of our circle. We do what we call a restoration. And that's for those who have kind of wandered away from our church, but they're coming back to our church. Um, so I want to read a scripture uh, regarding that. Um, Matthew 18, down in verse 12. Uh, these are Jesus' words. And he says, what do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the 99 on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, I tell you the truth, he is happier about the one sheep than about the 99 that did not wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should be lost. And I share that because, you know, India, everybody knows India, um, you know, became part of our church, um, and then things happened, you know, and she kind of wondered a little bit. Um, but we always saw her, right, coming through, and uh, then finally we got to, you know, grab her, and, you know, and, and do some studies to help her, and, um, and now you're here. And uh, it's great to have her daughter, her daughter's here. Daughter share because this is very special for her to see Mama come back home. Yeah. Come on, Daddy. I'm so glad to be here with you guys. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Um, the scripture. All right. So the scripture um, is one of my favorite scriptures, and um, I hope it's encouraging to you. It's um. Something that God has Moses tell the Israelites when he's um, taking them from Egypt, after he's taken them from Egypt, and Egypt for us was sin, a slavery to our sin. So he says, You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt for your slavery to sin, and how I carried you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all the nations, you will be my treasured possession. Although the whole earth is mine, you will be a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites, God's people. And I just think about just like our life and just everything that God has done to prepare our hearts to get to that place where we're just ready. You know, and this is such a beautiful time for the Israelites and it's a beautiful time for you to just be allow ourselves to be treasured and appreciated right. by God and admired oh. by God. Yes, and um and I hope that like I'm so grateful that you're here. Um you have so much love to give yeah. and you're gonna be able to impact so many of these incredible men and women yeah. here. Um but then I also think that love is just something that God really wants for himself too. You have so much incredible love to give to God. And I'm just so happy you're here and I love you. Come on.